Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, on today's Clubhouse, we talked about, you know, a situation where, uh, you know, with this market and, and interest rates and, and everyone knows that they've gone up and, and how do you really help, um, you know, navigate this conversation, this market with a potential buyer and, and you know, telling them if it's a good time to buy or, or to hold off and, and wait a little bit. And I think it is um, dependent on us as the expert advisors to make sure we're getting all of the information um, from the potential client on what their goals are. Um, I think that's super important. For some people, now may be the best time in the in, and they have to buy. And for other people, you know, they may have the luxury of waiting to buy. Um, but what I tell every single agent that asks me this question is, you know, we can't predict the market. We don't know if rates are going to go up. We don't know if rates are going to go down. We don't know if pricing is going up, if pricing is going down. The only thing that we know is what's happened uh, yesterday and what's happening today. And if someone is, is on the fence about purchasing a home um, and they want to buy in this market, it's still a great time to buy. And it's better than renting. Um, you know, if they have a house that they are selling and purchasing, de again, depending on their situation and what's going on, uh, you know, they may be able to cash in on a ton of equity and get that larger home that they want, you know, that has the extra space or that has, you know, the, the huge detached garage that will allow them to run their own business out of it or whatever the case may be, right? It, there's not one correct answer. Every client is going to be different in what their goals and desires are and what their motivations are for buying and or selling. But, you know, a situation, right? Let's just say, you know, they're like, hey, I, we can't afford uh, the payment or the payment just kind of pushes us out of that comfort zone of what we're used to paying or what we're comfortable paying. Okay, great. Let's just say, you know, they were comfortable paying, you know, $1,300 a month and now the payment's going to be uh, you know, fifteen hundred, and that two hundred dollars is. Let's just do. Let's just do easy numbers. Let's just say the payment that they're comfortable with was, you know, uh, fifteen hundred, and now uh, the payment gets pushed to closer to two thousand. And let's just say, um, you know, they they are about to cash in on, uh, you know, fifty grand in equity on their current house, right? Uh, in that situation, our job is to break down and look at the whole picture, right? Okay, hey, I understand that, you know, this is outside of your comfort zone, but you actually are going to be getting uh, $50,000 in equity off the sale of your house. There's a couple of things that we can do with that $50,000 to help offset the difference in payment and pricing um, that you're going to be feeling on the new property, right? Maybe we can take that $50,000 and invest it and we can help offset some of that, that extra expense. Or if we just look at it at simple dollars, right? You know, this payment's $500 uh, more uh, each month, right? So that's $6,000, uh, you know, each year extra that you're gonna have to pay. You know, how many years can we cover with the $50,000 with that extra payment, right? And that's how you can, can break that down. Um, you know, just do that math for them. Hey, if you plan on being here, less than five years, then this makes sense, right? Because your $50,000 are going to cover that extra uh, $6,000 each year. And that's kind of how you can explain it. And the hardest part for us as real estate agents, you know, is to explain this on a third to, to fourth grade level to the consumer, right? A lot of times they are not, um, you know, well versed and educated on the financing side of things and on the real estate side of things and everyone tries to, to 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 predict the market and you can't predict the market it's impossible to predict the market but what we can do is we can just share facts of what's happening and you can share stories right you know if you had a client that told you two years ago that they were going to wait for the market to slow down now it's just costing them extra money a ton more on value and now on rates right you know you can't predict the market but what we can do is we can put a game plan in place based off of their real desires and, and what their real goals are in real estate. And we can help guide them down that path. And the one thing I tell people right now, look, you can lock in at whatever rate it is today. And then if six months and 12 months down the road, rates go down, refinance, look into that, you know? Um, and if rates go up in, in 12 months and it looks like that you bought at the right time, Right. Because now, you know, if you would have waited, you know, now it's going to cost you even more money because I don't think values are going to slow down. Right. Especially here in Central Ohio. Right. Understanding our market. We have so much 
uh, potential business coming because of Intel here locally that I don't see our market really slowing down. I think we're always going to have a supply and demand issue um, for the next, you know, five to 10 years um, to where, you know, housing is always going to be uh, low inventory or lower inventory than the amount of buyers that we have in our market. And it's our job to just explain those things, right? The only way to really protect your investment is to get into contract now to purchase the home. And if rates go down, awesome, right? And, but if rates go up, awesome, right? Because because you, you bought at the right time. Uh, and then values are going to go up as well. Uh, so you just have to ask the hard questions, dig a little bit deeper with your, your clients and really understand what their goals are. Um, you know, what's the true motivation as to why they need to sell or why they need to buy. Um, and then put a plan in place for them and make sure that you can explain it to where it makes sense for them. And they're completely comfortable in that decision um, to make that real estate transaction.